Alright guys, I am back with more Chilean Retro Gamer Specials, today playing Raiden 4 Overkill on the PC. I barely played this game, I tested it a little bit, but I haven't done a full playthrough like I did with Raiden 3, just to, you know, have a little taste of the difficulty. I don't think this one will be much different anyway. So let's see how far we can get. I mean, we can beat it, nice. If not, at least you will see what the game looks like. And my experiences with it, which is probably the whole point of the video. Gotta love this, this sequence. It goes beyond the polygonal 3D, it looks a lot more realistic. Alright, maybe the video was going a little bit too slow compared to the music. But that was still very good. So this is from... Oh, it doesn't say the year. I mean, we can look it up and everything. So, let's take a look at the options. I have all of the lives. I don't know how many credits I'm given. And we're going for arcade mode. Light and original. Two difficulties. You can select stage even. Uh, alright, it's completely vertical. Five stages, and this one offers all of the stages. I guess we're going for this one. Yeah, it offers similar options to... Let's go for Proto Laser this time. It offers similar options to Raiden DX. Except now, we are given the choice to try... A different laser weapon as an alternative. But you still have the spread as default. Alright, this pretty much looks and feels like Raiden 3. Same graphics. You know, I, I already noticed a difference. It, it, it seems to me like... For some reason this game feels less smooth. Framer-wise, in terms of my ship speed also, it, it, it feels less smooth than Radiant 3 for some reason. Maybe I'm not playing at full speed. Maybe it's a problem with my computer, I don't know. Not so slow than already. It doesn't feel all that smooth. Maybe there is lag because of the amount of bullets and things on screen. Or maybe I'm wrong because the level was short enough. This is the same boss music as Raiden 2 and the X. I say maybe I'm wrong because the level was way too short. Even with all of these slowdowns. Oh shit, they're calling me. It could be important.
All right, sorry about that. I didn't want to stop the recording. I thought it was a job interview, but it wasn't. Again, phone companies offering you new plans and new deals. Fuck that. So let's see how it behaves in, in uh, the next levels. So let's see if this is as low or whatever. Yeah, it feels like an expanded Raiden 3. Yeah, it seems a little choppy, but it, on the feed, on, on the on the frame rate, can I adjust this somewhere? Excuse me. Video setting. Not only that. Let's keep playing. This is still very playable, so let's not complain. Maybe I'm just looking too much into it. I mean, I immediately detected this being kind of slower than Raiden 3. But maybe it's the game itself. Because I did test Raiden 5 and it worked like a charm. It doesn't say how many crits I'm given. What am I charging? Do I have a charge attack or something? I don't think so. I haven't used a single bomb. Yet. Alright, let's try this photon laser. Yeah, it's like the one in the previous game, but times three. Which covers more space on the screen, which is a fucking awesome thing. It's like a spread laser, but it doesn't do homing. In all honesty, that bomb didn't look slow to me. So I am starting to think that the game is like this. In fact, now, just now, I see when I'm not shooting, I see the, the, the scrolling moving at 60 FPS. And it slows down when there is a lot of shooting going on. So yeah, I mean. This confirms my suspicions, basically. That the game itself actually provides a lot of lag. And my speed, uh, my my ship is moving pretty much at the same speed, but I don't know. Again, it was it was like having some issues with the with the frame rate. Because I was basically comparing with the previous game, that's it. Anyway, let's enjoy the game, right? That's what we are here for. I'm trying to look at the patterns without using bombs like crazy. I'm trying. With this little slowdown going on, actually, I do have some more time to react. Well, except there, because I was being too aggressive.
Yeah, those are doable patterns. Still. So yeah, this feels like pretty much the same engine as Raiden 3. Actually, some of the music is the same. As a matter of fact. So, we're going into space already? We're going to space sooner and sooner every time. No, we are on the sea. So far so good, I actually was moving faster than the bullets, that, that's kind of surprising. So yeah, the, the, the game is actually laggy. I'm not used to being faster than the bullets themselves. I believe this one came out pretty much a couple years after Raiden 3. Raiden 3 came out in 2004. No, sorry, 2005. No, that's correct, 2004. It was literally 10 years after Raiden DX, which is from 94. And I think two years later they released this one, basically it's 2006. Oh, the PC version probably was released later. So that would explain in a way that there is so little differences in between one another. The engine being pretty much the same. But then... Raiden 5, I think, came out in 2016. Ten years after this one. So that's why it looked so different. I don't feel like changing weapons now. I'm way too comfortable with the spread gun. Yeah, contra up. Terminology. Regardless of how slower this became, I'm still enjoying the, the backgrounds and... All this 3D. I don't know, I, I like shoot them out with 3D backgrounds, there are plenty. Some of them actually work on arcade just fine. Not this game, of course, not Raiden 3 either. But there are others that in late 80s, sorry, late 90s, they started to put that into practice and... It looks awesome. Well, in late 80s, they were able to do that with some Mode 7 backgrounds. Especially in Namco shooter maps. I think of Ordine or... I forgot about this Namco shooter map that came out also in Sega Genesis. About a guy, like, flying over some horse. That executed Mode 7 in late 80s perfectly for those who still think that Super Nintendo actually invented the Mode 7 which is incorrect Namco, Sega and Konami even well Sega not that much but Namco and Konami especially Namco did that with plenty of their arcades in late 80s in their arcade hardware before the Super Nintendo was even planned I mean, think of Ordine, think of uh, Marble Land, which also came out on Genesis, but without those Mode 7 effects. And this other shooting map I, I was telling you about, but I don't remember the name of it. 
Is it me or I haven't died yet? I made it to stage 3 boss without dying. That's better than I, what I would have expected myself. I'm trying to remember the name of this Namco Shooter mod with the awesome Mode 7 moments. Oh, alright, that, that's my fault. I tend to be more ag too aggressive. Alright, this is very useful for shooting two targets at a time. Yeah, there I'm literally shooting at two targets at a time. Dude, I have shit ton of, to of bombs. Use them, please. I'm trying to save them for whenever I really need them, but... Alright, that was almost a dumb mistake. Another one. Right there. Alright. Oh, there's more? Yes, there is. Alright. Oh shit, time to spam. For real. Oh, there's more? Even from this side, I'm able to shoot this guy no problem. That's the advantage of this, uh... This one missile type. Sorry, this laser type. Okay, idle bombs. I have no other choice than trying to avoid patterns, which I did. Alright. I'll change this uh, weapon as soon as I can. Basically I ended up picking this one up because I died. It doesn't feel all that powerful as you can see. Oh shit, I was using a bomb. So I, I become invincible as I pick the power up up. But I forgot that I didn't have any bombs. Anyway, I think I'm at full power now. Isn't this music from Raiden 2 as a matter of fact? I know I, I heard it in some other game. Oh shit, oh my god. Fucking surprise enemies.
Back to full power up. But yeah, a surprise enemy from the side fucked me up. I know what that R really means. It's not a missile type. As far as I know. There's a lot of ruin themed stages in Raiden 3 and, and, and this one too. Well, in the previous game was pretty much by the end of the game we saw a lot of ruins. And this game became kind of a common theme. I believe this is like the second stage in which I see these things. Lots of temples in ruins and shit like that. I mean, I see the point of this place, it's destroying all the statues. Yeah, they're all dead. Alright, this is actually kind of different, going downwards. I mean, it's not the first time I see something like this in a shoot 'em up, but it's the first time I see it on Raiden at least. Which is awesome as it is. Don't, don't go pick those up, dude. So not worth it. They don't give you extra lives at all points. At least I don't think they do. This is something I wanna, I, I wanna pick up. So far so good. It doesn't say the amount of credits right now, but I think when you run out of lives, they tell you how many credits you have left. And I assume it's the same as Raiden 3, basically 3 in total. Yeah, these are the same boss uh, tracks, music from the previous games. Yeah, time for bomb spam. Still not dead. Second phase. That, that's what I'm assuming from all this.
So one of them down. Oh, actually, the two of them are dead at the same time. Alright, there was no need to use so many bombs in this one. I think I ended up using one, two tops. So that was level four. So is it time to go into the deep space or not? Yep. Yeah. Wait, really? No, I'm moving. I see a rocket going away, but I'm still here. <coughs> yeah, that was a terrible joke. Ships don't cough. Oh, don't tell me now. The, the transition from Earth to space, they made it an actual level out of it? Yes, they did, alright. In all the previous rating games, literally all of them, you just went to space, but no, the transition now became a level. Which is awesome, alright. Now I see some actual difference between rating 3 and this. And now it feels like the game became faster all of a sudden. So maybe we should blame it on the backgrounds? The amount of, you know, the huge lag we were experiencing earlier? I almost got killed for trying to pick up things that give you points only. I never learn. This is still simple. So wait a minute, am I playing on the default difficulty? Because I increased the amount of lives and bombs, but you cannot change the difficulty in the options uh, screen. And I chose the regular difficulty, so to speak, because I want to play all the levels. So they made this game easier on purpose? Is that what I'm getting from all this? I insist, I didn't adjust any difficulty. I mean, I'm grateful for that, I'm not complaining, I'm just... basically confirming some theories I have. And Radiant 3, well, I was able to beat it because I was playing on an easier difficulty. But even so, they give you not many credits to beat the game with. This one probably would be the same thing. But at least they are compensating the lack of credits, the lack of, you know, having the capacity to credit feed in exchange for a harder game. Oh sorry, in exchange for a easier game? Again, I'm constantly making the comparison with the previous rating games. Lovely level, by the way. Don't think I'm, I'm not paying attention to the background and the things happening. It's pretty nice looking. Is it boss time? Maybe mini boss. Maybe none of them. Oh, this thing again. Dude, this looks like a... Two Who level. Or pattern. Probably with not as many bullets as two who's, but it is low enough so you can study it and go through them. No problem without abusing bombs.
Oh shit! Why did he stop shooting? I, I, I was still holding the shoot button at all times. I never stopped. So the easier mode got five levels. So this would be the last one in theory. So I'm assuming, considering that some of these levels became actually much longer than the first one, for example, this would have seven levels. Raiden 3 had seven levels when I thought it had eight. All the previous games had eight. Look at this guy. This is doable, I have plenty of space to work with, except now... Alright, these are faster bullets in fact. Oh, is that crystal thing that is the final boss in every raiding game by now? Oh, there you are! So that explains that the easy mode had 5 levels only because you fight the final boss right off the spot. Oh shit, alright, fucked up. Time to spam bombs! Yeah, I lost the credit. So, it says 9. Oh, wait, no, it's not the counter. I was waiting. I was like, do they give you infinite fucking continues? Apparently not. So, I defeated him. I assume if there are more levels in this game, this guy will escape. Again, if we assume this is the final boss, and it looks like it is, yeah, it went away. So there must be two or three more levels left. However, I'm having some sort of cutscene, which might be the ending. I clearly remember selecting the, the one with more levels. Ah, oh, there we go. Is this a second loop? Dude, I don't know what to think. Let's find out. Because this kind of looks familiar. Yeah, this looks awfully familiar. Well, I can select level, right? So what if I beat this and then uh, escape and see what happens? Well, there are other modes in this uh, game that can expand the, the experience of Raiden 4. Maybe the arcade is short, 
The arcade mode is short itself. Well, that's the one I'm trying to go for. Little fairy that gives me all of the points. Yeah, this is stage one again. So basically these are loops. And I remember seeing like a 1-1 one -one type of display. So yeah, these are loops. It became harder. I see it's kinda harder. Bullets are going faster. Yeah, it does look more difficult. Alright, no need for bombs. It is looping. Excuse me. Alright, I'm just checking here. Can you change stage? Oh, the difficulty wasn't very easy. My bad. That's why it was so easy. Alright. No regrets though. Alright, apparently there is no way to change stage. Alright, I, I understand now. I think there are five stages in total, but playing the original mode basically allows you to loop. The light mode, it's just five stages and go home. That's essentially what it is. So yeah, I guess we are done with Raiden 4 Overkill. I know there are other modes here with more missions as you can see, but we're gonna leave them for some other time. So next time, we are doing the, for now, the final game in the Raiden series. They are supposed to be releasing Raiden 6 this year, 2018, but as far as, as I'm concerned, Raiden 5 will be the last game we are going to be doing for the special. So, thank you for watching, see you then.